Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stamp It Up tutorial. So today we are going to use the Under My Umbrella stamp set as well as the Coordinating Punch. I cannot remember the name of the punch, so I'll put it on the screen since I don't remember. Um, and yeah, I have a really colorful card to share with you. I am on a colorful card kick right now. I don't know what it is, like these bright colors are just really speaking to me um, even more than they typically already do. Um, also, I wanted to share with you, some of you are asking how Malachi is doing. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you should. I share so much Malachi goodness um, over on Instagram in my stories and also in my feed. So um, I'll, I'll put, I have a link to my Instagram down below in the video description. Um, but yeah, follow me over there, you guys, so that you can get all the Malachi everything. <laughs> so, okay, let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. All right, so I've got all my pieces here, so I'm going to get a few things together here. I'm going to start first by stamping my umbrella onto this piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. I've got my Coastal Cabana ink, and I chose this little umbrella. I thought that one was so cute. I love the shape of that umbrella. So I'm just going to stamp it right right down here at the bottom then i'm going to bring in my coordinating punch and that is not close enough to the edge so let me just snip that and you just there we go and then you just want to slip this in sideways and punch it out there you have it isn't it so cute i love that little umbrella shape Okay, so then I have got some of this Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper. I love this paper. It's just so fun. I am going to stamp my little rain boots here. My wellies. Are rain boots and wellies the same? And I'm going to put them right here. I haven't stamped on designer paper in a long time. Put those there and then doing my least favorite thing. I am going to hand cut these little rain boots out and I'm going to cut right along the stamped edge. Alrighty, I've got those all cut out so there are my cute little rain boots. I love it. <laughs> love that. Alright, so now we are going to do a little bit of die cutting which I have not done in a video in a long time. Um, so I'm using the uh, one of the, the largest ovals from the Stitched Shapes dies and then I'm also using one of the scalloped ovals um, from the layering oval dies. Both of these sets of dies are retiring. I'm so sad to see these go, but that's okay. And then I've just got some uh, Whis Whisper White cardstock and then some Purple Posy cardstock, which Purple Posy is retiring as well. So I am a little late to the game here, y'all, but I have got my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I finally Oh, I finally ordered it. I'm so excited. I used it for the first time to um, create when I was designing uh, today's project. So yay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I just, I love the compact design. I love it. Okay. So got my, my machine here. So hopefully you can see, okay, I'm going to start by putting plate number one, number two, and then my very well used cutting plate. Okay. And then I'm going to put my card stuck. So I've got my whisper white here, and I'm going to put my little stitched oval there. And then on my uh, purple posy, I've got the scalloped oval put my other cutting plate on top. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> and then just run it through. And I'm doing this sitting down. I've never die cut in a video sitting down. It's just like so convenient to use this thing. Yay! All right, so I've got one more little thing I wanna stamp here, and that is my sentiment but I needed to cut this first before I could stamp it. Actually, I've got two things, two more things I'm gonna stamp. Okay, so I think that's how I'm gonna lay that out. I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black ink 
back out and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment which says rain or shine you're always on my mind I love that just put that right there oh that looks good and then my little umbrella handle here just gonna stamp that right about here Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. That memento is still a little bit wet. So while that dries, we can go ahead and start at least putting together the rest of the card. Okay, so for my card base, this is Whisper White Thick. Remember, we don't have that anymore, but uh, we have basic white now, but I'm finishing up my Whisper White. So Whisper White Thick, this is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. Give it a nice crease. Then I have got a piece of, if I can pick it up, a piece of crushed curry cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to layer on this beautiful, colorful piece of um, the Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper. This is cut three and three quarter inches by five inches. I just, you guys, this paper is just so much fun. I love it. So I'm just gonna add this on. Just got my stamp and seal here. And then before I put this on my card front, I'm going to add some of this Playing With Patterns ribbon. This is the Coastal Cabana ribbon that comes, um, or that you can get that coordinates with the, the Playing With Patterns uh, collection. So I'm just going to put that across the center of this layer. That looks good. Flip it over. And I'm going to use my Seal Plus here. a couple little bits of adhesive and then I'll just run it along the back and adhere this right onto the front of my card base and then I'll go ahead and add my sentiment piece here right onto my scallop I haven't used these um, ovals in a long time. The stitch shapes I've used so much it I can't even count. But I haven't used the ovals in a while. All right, so then for these two die cut pieces, I'm actually going to put dimensionals on each of these. Get my little boots on. umbrella and then dimensionals on the back of this layer alrighty and then we'll just add that on to the front of our card here isn't this such a fun card I just love it I love it. It's like a rainbow in the mail. I love it. And then to finish up the card, I'm going to add a few of these Playing With Patterns resin dots. So I'm going to use the Crushed Curry color. And I thought it was so cute to add one at the end of the handle. Isn't that fun? And then we'll do... Actually, that one's bigger than I wanted. Okay, Woo. got it. Let me go down a size, yeah. Perfect, and then I'll do two little ones. Put one right up here at the top, press that in, and then one more right over here. There we go. And that is the finished card. I absolutely love this card, you guys. I think it is so, so cute. I might make several of these. I love it. And in my original, I actually put raindrops here um, behind the sentiment first and then I stamped the sentiment and I'm not crazy about how that looks I feel like it looks too cluttered and and you just the sentiment doesn't pop as well so I decided in the um, in the video that 
I didn't want to do that. Uh, I like it a lot. It looks cleaner and, and clearer without those raindrops in the back. So I love how that looks. And then of course I decorated my envelope and I just added a little bit of the designer paper to the envelope flap. And there you go. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, don't forget you can find all of the measurements and supplies for today's project over on today's coordinating blog post linked down below in the video description. And I do have also all of the supplies listed down below with clickable links. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.